Hey guys, this is Nick from ForexForNoobs.com with a live trade video. Today is Wednesday the 6th of February 2019. Time is 12.27 here in the UK. And you're looking at an AUDCAD 5 minute chart. Uh, I'm looking to go short here on the 5 minute chart uh, from, from around about here. Uh, the trade already triggered technically, but it's pulling back a little bit, giving me opportunity for an even better entry. So... I'm going to be trading this because it's a, technically a scalping setup. I'm going to be trading this on a smaller account. It's, all, it's not on my trading view because I can't trade through trading view. So I'm just, uh, just give me a second here uh, while I quickly. <laughs> it's hard to record and uh, do everything I'm meant to do. So I just need a second here while I get the position size sorted. I'm also a little bit, a little bit uh, unorganized for this right now. But it's awesome because it is pulling back quite a bit, which is going to give us a really nice entry. So I'm going to actually pull that up to here a little bit. Uh, just the stop a tad. Finally, now this is a very risky trade. Just double check and triple check everything is correct. Oh, damn it. oh actually, there's something wrong here. Okay, cool. So we're short here. Uh, yeah, that, that took a little bit longer than expected. Uh, so what's this? Actually, let me pull that back up to here. So uh, this is a pretty straightforward trade. Looking price to pull away from up here. Head down to that support area down there. So I'll uh, update as this trade progresses. All right, guys, just a quick update to this trade. Uh, there is actually another five minute chart trade uh, forming right now on USDCHF. But going to the AUD CAD one, uh, as you can see, it's uh, moving in my direction, which looks pretty good. I'm kind of happy about that. The reason I'm kind of happy is I messed up my position size on this trade. Look, five minute chart trading can be very stressful uh, on its own. When you add recording a video for you guys on top of that, uh, and feeling rushed, it can lead to mistakes. And this time, unfortunately, it led to a mistake. I got in with one tenth of my normal position size for this style of trading, which means even if it hits target, I'm only gonna make 10% of what I normally would have made. So I just messed that up. Uh, instead of dividing by, by 10 to get uh, the, the position size I wanted, I somehow divided by, anyway, look, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm in with one tenth of my normal position size. So I'm kind of annoyed with that right now because even if this does hit target, which it looks like it might, ooh, there it goes. Uh, wait, let's quickly look at USDCHF, not cool. Um, even if it does hit target, uh, which it looks like it might do pretty soon, I'm gonna make hardly any profit on this one. It's, it's uh, yeah. I mean, what can you do? I even triple checked, but I messed it up anyway. But uh, on USDCHF, we have a potential trade forming. This one, I will get right because uh, I have plenty of time to see this one coming. Uh, price is kind of dropping down semi-slowly to here. Once it hits this area here, this line here, I'll be looking for a long trade from this level. Now, price is obviously not there yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set an alert uh, near this line. Normally I use my my broker's uh, platform to set alerts, but I'm just gonna, for this example, I'm gonna use uh, TradingView. Yeah, let's just do it like that. Boom, done. So we'll stick it in there. This means when price gets down to this level, 
uh, I'll get uh, my platform ringing and it will allow me to come and uh, see if I wanna get into the trade. Uh, for trading five minute charts, because things are changing so fast, unless you wanna be staring at your charts all day, it is definitely best to just use some alarms. Uh, chart alarms are just gonna save you from missing out on trades. Uh, and they're just very, very handy. Uh, so back to the AUD CAD trade, it is moving down nicely, but uh, I've lost <laughs> I've lost interest in this trade because it's not gonna make me any serious amount of money. Uh, but hey, what can you do? Uh, I'm gonna let this one run, I'm gonna see how it goes. Uh, yeah, and I'll just update as this trade progresses. We'll see if we can make this my first ever double trade video. And uh, if I can get into USDCHF before this AUD CAD trade completes. So I'll update as the trade progresses. Or maybe the trades. Okay guys, just a quick final update to this trade. As you can see, price has dropped down and it has hit my target. Yay! Uh, but I only ended up making like 10% of what I planned to make on this trade. Because of that uh, silly mistake I made. But, uh, you know, I guess it's a profitable trade, so I'm happy in that way. Uh, USDCHF, uh, this one's not happening right now. Uh, price didn't hit the line at the bottom, so I didn't really uh, get any opportunity to go long. It just turned around before it turned around too quickly. This could still head down in the coming hours or in the coming minutes. Uh, so I'm just going to keep the alarm there and uh, wait and see what happens. Uh, AUD CAD, I missed the potential long from this uh, this line at the bottom here because it just turned around a bit too fast. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to, to answer it. It turned around within a few minutes after hitting this line, uh, so I didn't even get a chance to answer it. All happened too quickly. Uh, but I do have an alarm up here at the, at the original point I took the trade from. Uh, so now that this one's closed out, uh, if it pushes back up to this line where I entered from, I'll potentially be looking to enter short from there again. So successful trade, uh, but it didn't really make me uh, any significant amount of money because I messed the position size up. Just goes to show you even experienced traders can mess things up. Uh, now to be fair on myself, I probably would not have messed things up if I wasn't trying to record a video uh, that just added an extra element on top of what is already fast paced trading, the five minute chart, it added an extra, uh, an extra bit of confusion and an extra bit of, of stress and things to manage. So I screwed up the position size. Uh, no point on dwelling on it, just uh, move on to the next trade. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to record five minute videos, five minute chart trading videos regularly to give you guys a little bit of taste of scalping so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.